Hey everybody, I am in the process of building a fairly nice setup. If you hear any pups in the background, that's a bunch of border collies, youngins. Um, and I got me a new sweet power inverter, and the shipping company uh, treated it like it was a um, recycled can. So it's. I'll show you these pictures. Take a look at these pictures right quick. And that's how we got it. And um, Sweet Power is a well-built machine. And, I mean, they're just beautiful. But I had to open this up. And you can tell you can tell how effectively built this thing is because it took a hell of a beating. I mean, this is completely, as you see in the picture, beat in. And it even shoved the board back. So, if you look in here, I've done some pushing on it. But the screws are off at an angle so the screws this whole board got shoved that way i don't know what is going to work or what won't work but we're going to work on it a little bit and uh, and find out we're going to see if we can make this thing functional so this is a 36 volt now what we've got here is 50 amp hour time usb now these are the old style this is an old style battery um over here will be a thousand amps of 12 volt. Over here will be 350 or more. I might do more. Um, I've made it room where I can put one more row of these if I want to. But it's just going to, for now, it's going to jump to here and then from here to here. And we're going to have 36 volts coming off this. And I'll put a bus bar up here and then a bus bar on the negative up here. And then I'll have 150 amp hour at 36 volt. Now, that's a lot. So if you convert that to 12 volt, um, that's 450 amp hour at 12 volt, this setup right here. But these batteries, when you test these batteries, and I'm trying my damnedest to talk these guys into releasing these again. I'll pay the extra. Because these have got the big Tesla style cells in them. This is nearly 19 pounds. And the 50 amp hour batteries they got now are like this freaking big from here down and half the size. And they don't do 50 amp hour. They got prismatic, prismatic, you know, the square blue cells, but they're not doing, they're not making it. I mean, they barely crest 48.5. Um, one of them, it did 50 amp hour. But these sold as 50 amp hour. They pull 64, 68. I had them all marked at one time, little blue uh, paint stickers on them. And I averaged, if you take all of this together, instead of 150 amp hour, we're looking at about 168 amp hour. And that's a lot at 36 volts because you remember that is, that is three times divide that or, or multiply that times three is your 12 volt version of the same thing so hello nina nina i got my little border collie come here nina she's ridiculous so who the five week old you tell them about who you are nina all right now look nina made me a gift see that that's friendly nina i like that you need to be house trained so um we're going to uh we're going to try to do some adjustments of this without damaging it. I'm going to try to force this back down. But you can see the uh, the isolation board there. The inverter should be about another three-eighths of an inch this away inside this frame. But they bent every one of these uh, screws when they damaged this. So, I mean, they, they beat the hell out of it. Here's the fan right here. Look at this. This is how bad it broke wire ties it broke the fan even knocked the capacitors you check this out there's the capacitor there's the fan there's the capacitor right there now i've 
I've not checked it to see whether it's damaged. It's not loose, but it split the plastic on it for some reason and knocked off that little marker cap that's on there. And what, Nina? Look, show them your face. Show them your face. And I got a, I got two of these. I got a little brown one. She's somewhere around here. And I got this one right here. So, oh, here she is. Come here. This one here. Oh, come here, baby. This one here is Delta Dawn. Look, take a look. Look up. Come here. Look up. This is Delta, a little blue-eyed brown. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's Delta Dawn. That's why they wrote the song, right? So, um, we're going to be working on these batteries and going to 36 volt. And sorry about that, but there's pups and play pens in here. Um, this is in the back end of my shop where my office area is at, where I have my big chair. And I am building this using a lot of materials you've seen in previous videos. So this is just giving you guys an update. Here's that 36 volt model. Now, right now they've got the 2000 watt, the 2500 watt and 36 volt. And she's working on getting the 5000. And that's what we're going to work on is getting a 5000 in 36 volt. The reason for this setup is we're going to just link, take the box out and just link the power box. I've got it gutted and we're just going to pull it and just run three inverters total, uh, one off 12 volt, which will be, I think, uh, two big, um, 400 amp hours. And then up here, there'll be 600 amp hours. So what are we going to have there? 1400 or something like that amp hours at 12 volts. And over here, of course, 350 or more. I think I'm going to try to get three more of these so that we have um, 400 amp hours at 36, which is the equivalent of another 1200 amp hour and wattage, watt hours. So, all right, I'm going to get this up on and running and I will show it to you. See, it even bent that. It pulled us stuff so hard and broke ties and we don't know, couldn't work. But if I get it working, we're going to have it in a video here pretty soon getting mounted up here. So, all right, guys, a little disappointing uh, backwards track here. And they're the best inverters you can buy for the money. They really are. The shipping sucks. But the, uh, the company is very responsible, and she's going to, I'm sure, deal with it. But at least they're easy to work on. All right. You guys be good. Stay tuned. 36 and 12 that involves wind power, buck boosting, and you don't have to stay with one voltage. One voltage is not the rule. You Now, I prefer 36 because anything above 40 is deadly. 36 might hurt you, but it's unlikely to kill you. But 48 has got a lot of deaths behind it, so I stay away from that. All right, you guys be good.